Let's write the structure for 3-methylbutane. And we need to be careful here because there's a bit of a problem with this name, 3-methylbutane. So butane, that's four carbons in a row, single bonded. So this would be butane here. We would have hydrogens on each carbon such that each carbon had four bonds. So we have our butane, and if we number them, one, two, three, four, according to our name here, on the third carbon right here, we'd have a methyl group. A methyl group is CH3. So I'm just going to write on the third carbon another carbon. This would have three hydrogens around it. So once you add the hydrogens in, this would be the correct structure for 3-methylbutane. Except when we're writing the names for organic compounds, we'd rather have the substituent, this methyl group, on a lower numbered carbon. So we could renumber the carbons here. One, two, three, four. And on the second carbon, that's where we have our methyl group. So it's the same structure, it's just this has a lower number where we have the substituent. So a better name for 3-methylbutane would be 2-methylbutane. Again, you get the same structure if you wrote 2-methylbutane or 3-methylbutane. It's just that we have our methyl substituent group on a lower number carbon, and that's the way we name these organic compounds here. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 3-methylbutane, really which we should call 2-methylbutane. Thanks for watching.